was too nice before Christmas in 72. The Steelers were losing, but what else was new? It'd been 40 years without one playoff win. 66 circle option. The call coach sent in. It's down to one big play. Fourth down and 10 yards to go. The fans in their feelings in need of a lift had no sense we'd bring them a last second gift. 22 seconds remaining. I drop back from center. The Raiders, not blitzing, got push up the middle. I duck, dodge, and dip them. Bradshaw running out of the pocket. Slid to my right, saw a streak in my vision, uncorked one for Frenchie. Then came the collision. Win from Cross Three Rivers, there sprung an Italian, spurred on by the verve of his fateful battalion. that plump pig skin an inch from the grass. Turned up the sideline, and he turned on the gas. The Raiders gave chase, but not one could catch Franco. Not Tatum, not Warren, not Villapiano. Fans flooded the field in a moment miraculous, giving us Steelers a reception. Immaculate. The play of all plays voted time and again was made by a rookie my jolly old friend now 50 years later one thing left to do retire his still city number good old 32 when you talk about christmas miracles here's the miracle of all miracles i recorded that a couple of weeks ago it felt so right franco was always there he was there when that ball dropped out of the air 50 years ago. He was there for his teammates, there for his family, there for his city. Can't believe he's not there now. Franco, forever, we will love you. We're going to miss you. We know you're in a better place. And tonight we honor our team, our unforgettable moment, and you. Franco Harris, whose jersey will be retired at halftime tonight, was 72 years old.